fine. All right, I'm just gonna finish this. Just hanging out, waiting for Millie. She's shopping for beach things. We're heading to Mazatlan for a few days. Hey, sorry to hear about your knee. Thought you chased down uh, Walmart openings and the uh, rich kids' weddings. Not bad guys. Um, yeah. You know about those pictures. Um, considering everything that's gone down, maybe this is something that you don't. Want to not interested in right now. No, well, the, the chick, I can't remember her name. I mean, it's been like 10 years, but the guy looks a lot like Eric Poole. Is that like a swimming pool? I think there's an E on the end of it. But I'm serious about you messing around with this stuff. My first year in the agency, I worked on a task force in D.C. checking out this neo-Nazi crime ring. They were into drugs and guns and, you know, gangster shit. They had this horde of dumb white kids that they used to stir things up between the black and Hispanic gangs. And then they would sell guns to both sides. Kind of like the uh, French. One of the soldiers lost his shit one night and turned down the generals. When it was all said and done, one of, the, one of the dead guys turned out to be Thomas Walker. Thomas Walker was sort of the fear and sitting. You know, the only guy that made it out of there alive was this DC dick named Richter. This Richter was some hippified gonzo ex-army type that had about six or eight screws that had shaken loose. Neither the DC police nor the agency ever bought his account on how things went down that night. This uh, Richter guy, he's still a cop? No, he's not, which kind of leads me to my point. Walker's doing six. The agency never got any of his organization. Two days after Walker buys the farm, the agency pulls the plug on our investigation. We had some reconnaissance on DeFierce Council, including a pick of your boy, Eric Poole. One day Richter goes out to take his uh, pregnant wife to go see the doctor and the car won't start. He opens the hood and there's 20 pounds of C4, fortunately put there by an amateur. Now, I think it's very safe to assume that they're much more proficient nowadays. You still with me? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? The same for you. You ain't no gunslinger. Okay, I'll tell you something else. There's a lot of sympathy for these guys, these right-wing groups. And I don't even want to begin to tell you how far in it goes. You watch your ass with this stuff. Go back to debutante balls. Live long and prosper. At least live longer. Thanks, Paul. Hey. It's like you found something. Yeah, a few nice things. Um, on the phone. Not working. No, no, it was a uh, old friend from the fraternity. You met him before, Jeff. Yeah. I remember. He was working pretty nice. Yeah. So what did he want? Advice. I gave it to him. Question is: Is this a pattern of behavior on the part of this individual to? lash out aggressively in the continued exhibition of antisocial behavior? Or is this an isolated incident based on the trauma of his father's passing and the simultaneous provocation of the convenience store clerk? Provocation, Judge. Come on, Jim. I'm not justifying for a moment what this little twerp did. But you and I have both been in that store and we bitched to high heaven about the way we were treated. Yeah, but... We didn't bonk the guy on the head in front of his wife and kids, either. No, we didn't. 
our circumstances are such that we have developed social mores that interact on our behalf. Keeps us from pulling stunts like this. This day and age, Jim, I'm not surprised at all that something like this would happen. Now, this Dr. Nilsson has done a whole battery of tests, including the melon. And, uh, well, the kid has issues, but he's not sociopathic. Shows no pathology. It says here that he bottomed out the Wexler. Scored 140 plus on his IQ test. I have to agree with Ms. Bergman that if we remand Mr. Cook to the adult penal system, we create a ward of the state. He's not in the adult penal system. He's in a minimum security, privately funded, young adult remedial center. He's been there all of a week. Not at the taxpayer's expense. Ms. Bergman's firm is picking up the bill. I must say, Jim, I think that we're doing the right thing here. I don't think it's in the best interest of the community to drag us into the public forum. And if I'm reading Ms. Bergman correctly, she wouldn't hesitate to do that. Excuse me a minute, I'm going outside and have a smoke. Thought you quit. Yeah, about 14 times. I'll think this over while I'm out there driving nails into my coffin. Give you an answer when I get back. Excuse me. Well, Renee, we might as well relax and have a glass of wine. Nothing in the bar rule says that we have to suffer while the wheels of justice grind slowly to a snail's pace. Osvaldo Sanchez, please. Thank you. Osvaldo? Hey, this is Jim Summers, Henry County State's Attorney's Office. How you doing? Good. Look, I... Look, I, I'm sorry to bother you at home, but I need you to access the list of county-approved psychologists. What's his name? Uh, Nilsson. Roger. Ph.D. No, Dade. I'd look it up myself, but I'm in kind of an awkward situation right now. No, that's all right. I understand. All right, here he is. Roger Nielsen. Yeah, it says here that he's got his doctorate in criminal psychology. George Washington. Before he did the PhD thing, he worked at the Maryland Penal System as a prison counselor. At George Washington, his thesis was on um, white supremacist groups. He got published. Hardback, no less. Anything unusual in his record with the state? No, he's in good standing. Thank you. Excuse me? Jim, I was just telling Renee how we handled each other's divorces. <laughs> okay, he stays with Miss Bergman. I have no objections at this time. Hang on a second. I hope you're right about this kid. I hope he makes it. it. Takes a lot of guts to stand up for someone like that. Thanks. It's a very nice thing to say. You just made my day. Just curious. Hmm. Where do they make lawyers like you who are so dedicated to their clients' interests? George Washington. What about yourself? Florida State, I 